Hi everybody, um, here's a quick video in response to JB, a new member of the Forex Factory Forum, uh, Planetary Cycles, um, and he had a question about uh, Moon Perigee and Apogee, and um, how I might draw the uh, sine waves for that. So um, here's to try to show you quickly what I'm up to. <clears throat> um, Coming over to the astronomy composite, I set up moon perigee, or G, however you want to say it, minus moon perigee in geo. And <clears throat> to find out the length of the harmonic, what I do is I find out what the first harmonic length is. And it's 8.85 years, and that's way too long, of course, to be of use here on a 30-minute Euro USD chart. <clears throat> so what I do is come over here and into my Excel spreadsheet, uh, multiply 8.85 years times 365.25 days to come up with 5,621.96 um, days in the cycle and then divide that by the predominant cycle in the Q2 spectrum. So that sounds complicated, but it's really not. So running this, calculate it. I just did it, so it's going to be this value here, but let me erase it. <clears throat> so I'm using Q Spectrum 2, and I uh, have it set up between 31 and 62 days. And here's my main peak, so I'm going to click that. 37.47 days. So I come over here and plug that in right here, 37.47. <clears throat> so the program does a simple math for me, and I have a harmonic of 150 days, basically, or 150. And take that, plug that in over here and set this up to manual and say OK. All right, so that gives me a reasonable sine wave. <clears throat> I'm looking for one swing at the most in the week, if I can help it. Um, so I set the LBC back here uh, before the week started. Uh, so this data is invisible to the program, and let me mark this time right here. <clears throat> Good, and then let me reveal what's behind it, even though, and there we have it, a uh, nice rise up right into here and then a fall off for the rest of the week. <clears throat> Just looking forward here. How does the next week look? And we see a downtrend right through the almost Friday, Thursday at 20 hundred. <clears throat> it's a little more choppy this week, um, but it's still pretty good. Um, be careful about Fridays um, with options expirations and people settling up accounts. Starting with the New York session, you want to see if <clears throat> the projected trend holds or if you need to close out the trade. Following week, this looks good. <clears throat> and Usually I don't want to go too far on uh, one calculation of Q-Spectrum, so let me advance LBC up here and recalculate. So now I've got a longer cycle, 52.7 days. <clears throat> Plug that in here. Take this value for my harmonic, 
log it in right here. <clears throat> now something else, we're getting into a different month here. Um, how do I know when inversions might happen? I'm going to bring this down to a faster, bumpier ride here. And notice that from this last swing to the end of the price action, we've got an upswing here, but the price is doing a downswing. So that's a clue that I want to inverse. Oops. Inverse the sine wave now. So I'm going to go invert it and put this back up so I get one nice swing again. And let's just see what, again, the data out in front of this is invisible to the program. Um, and it's catching a beautiful downswing here, hitting the bottom and then up. So um, <clears throat> this works with many, many different instruments. Um, the annual cycle, sun minus sun, it, it works beautifully as well. Um, so anyway, have fun. Take care.